the Club of Hercules. Thank you for stopping in at Nine World Chronicles as we talk about more gods and demigods. And this day, the spotlight falls on Hercules of Greek myth, the Greek hero, and the weapon that he carried. Most heroes are identifiable by their weapons. Thor had the hammer Mjolnir. Heru had an enchanted mace. Even Indra had a mace that was enchanted. And Hercules, of course, is identifiable by this massive club. The interesting component is that while most of these heroes wielded a weapon that was either magical or enchanted or at least created by gods, in the Greek pantheon, it would have been Hephaestus who created the weapons or Vulcan by the Roman equivalent. But this was a weapon that, by all accounts, comes from a tree that Hercules makes himself, that he cuts forth himself. And it was a brutal weapon for some of his most brutal fights. And it served him very well. The biggest instance is when he fights the Nemean lion. And this was a lion whose pelt was so thick that no weapons could penetrate it. Not arrows, not swords, nothing. So Hercules was forced to go with brute strength and brutally clubbed the lion, disorienting it, and then using that very same mace to strangle it into submission. And once he had done so, he was able to take its own claws to skin the hide from its body. But the important thing about this mace is that it symbolized Hercules' role as a somewhat mortal hero. When he completed all these labors, he was still very much half human. He became a full god after the gods saw how righteous he was and after he had gone through many trials unfairly at the hands of Hera, who was his stepmother. But this club shows how human he was. It was a simple weapon. It allowed him to use his brutal strength. And when it came to the ultimate fight or a fight for survival, he was able to overcome in an enchanted beast, a beast of divine lineage in that lion that no man had been able to even wound previously. So this club becomes a symbol of who Hercules is in a lot of ways. It is one of the most iconic yet simplest weapons that we'll talk about when we talk about any relic weapon. So thank you again for stopping at Nine World Chronicles and we'll explore some of the labors of Hercules more and talk about the hide that he also wears in a separate piece. But as always, I ask that you hit that like and subscribe and click that notification bell so you know when new videos drop.